And welcome back to Locker Room Live here at Thornberry Creek Golf Course, along with George. I'm Burke. Please welcome our guest tonight, Packers safety, Adrian Amos, everybody. Hey. Nice to see you. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Yep. Ten and three with three games to go. You've been a part of winning teams, not only in college, but last year. This, though, as being part of ground zero for the Matt LaFleur era, how does it feel so far? Man, it feels great. You know, uh, when you come into the season, you have goals, um, you know, but we haven't accomplished all of our goals yet. Um, we have a long way to go. It's a final stretch. It's a big three games for us, you know, uh, determining us getting into the playoff seating and everything. But uh, we know we have to take it one day at a time. That's starting this week with Chicago. What about the potential on the defensive side of the ball? Do you think we, uh, well, I know we, I know you probably said we haven't reached our potential, but th do you think the sky's the limit? Oh, for sure. You know, we have the talent and we have the guys, you know, uh, in the locker room to do it. Um, you know, we have the pass rushers. And we have uh, the linebackers in the secondary to go out there and stop teams. We just have to put a complete game together. You know, we've had some, you know, great stretches of playing dominant football, but um, we let up two, three um, big plays a game that, you know, that can, um, it can change the narrative of how we played that game. You know, on Twitter, uh, one of my followers, and I know a big fan of yours, I think it's Shells or whatever her name is, she got a picture of you, like a training camp. There's a great shot of you and Aaron, and he's, you could, you're, this is when you're with the Bears, and it's at the end of the game, and he's leaning in to say something and says, caption this, and all I could think of was, hey, you're going to be on another NFC North Division title team next year. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I, the decision to come here, I mean, yeah. Brian and the rest of the staff, they clearly targeted four marquee free agents, and you were one of them. I mean, I, what went into the process for you thinking, you know what, I might want to play with number 12? You know, it was really an um, unexpected, you know, situation with, um, with me and free agency. I didn't know what to expect. Um, I just went at it, um, you know, I just went at it hoping and praying for the best, and then um, I had to make a decision sooner than I thought I was going to have to make, and um, the Packers showed that they wanted me. You know, they, they came out to the forefront, and uh, they showed that they wanted me, and they showed they had a plan for me, so, you know, it was the best decision for me, my career, and my family. Right. Coming from Baltimore, uh, Maryland, that's your hometown, yeah. um, you know, you're having a chance to play in a big city right. uh, like the Chicago. How has it been playing for the Green Bay Packers in one of the smaller markets of all professional sports? What do you think about that? Um, I feel like, you know, it's a more of a family atmosphere here, you know, because it's so small. It's not much to do. Um, us <laughs> as uh, teammates, we, you know, we get to each other's houses. Uh, we're around each other so much. Um, and I think that's been big um, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, well, as a whole team, you know, we just all been bonding and we've been gelling and it's just been getting better and better. Um, you know, we, it's a lot of new pieces on this team and for us to come together so quickly, right. you know, that, you know, that pays a tribute to, you know, just how close we are, you know, as a family, as a unit. Yeah, so I saw you guys all went to the Bucks game as a crew. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that, I think that's important. Um, me, Z, and Preston, we've just been, um, we've just seen that those best teams have, um, they do things together. They're close. They trust one another. One another. So uh, we just been priding ourselves on, you know, just just being around each other, and um, you know, so that we can hold each other accountable as well. So that size has been a positive for the chemistry building for your team. Um, yeah, um, yeah. yeah I, I would say that. Um, I feel like we would have probably did it, um, you know, no matter where we are, but. You know, that is not much else to do right. but be together. You know, right. I think that helps out a lot. Yes. Yeah, if yeah. you're in a big city, there's yeah. a club over there and there's right. a bar over there and there's a great 10, 20 great restaurants right. mm -hmm. here. You kind of got to do it yourself. Well, sure. this guy had quite the game on Sunday. Yes, Quarterback yes. sack, another interception, two passes defense, seven <laughs> tackles. Pretty good day at the office against Washington, right? Yeah. You knew you were coming on the show, so you wanted to have plenty of good things to talk about, right? <laughs> hey, I, 